Hello everyone. I kind of feel like I have to sneeze. Does that happen to any of y'all like in the light? Like maybe if you go outside or like you're sitting in front of a bright light, you just feel like you have to sneeze because that is me. But let's go ahead and get into this next month, which is May's kit lineup. I have, I think every month this year done. I did actually end up switching out this week. If you saw my last kit lineup, I did have the January mystery in here for the eight year, but I brought home the Cyber Monday, not Cyber Monday, the eight year kit. And I was like looking at it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm for sure using it this week. I need to use it ASAP. As soon as I can, I'm going to be using it. So it's going to be used that week. It is not like anniversary or shop or planner. Yeah, not planner like theme, but it has a spot there. Um, so I'll, I'm probably actually going to use the kit, the foil, the overlays that come with it. So when you see that, you'll know. So let's go ahead into this lineup. I did only go up to the 29th um, just because, I don't know, I just felt like it. But it's actually kind of a boring kit lineup because, I don't know, there's just the one kit I already showed you. And you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. But, you know, we're still here. So first things first is I do have this kit here called Brunch. And this was like my alternative Mother's Day art, which I've been kind of liking doing like art that could be used for Mother's Day, but also could be used for other things. Like I, when I did her day, I feel like his day could also be used for Father's Day, but could have been used for birthdays. I just like that kind of vibe. Um, and yeah, I think you can use this for a lot of different things. There was a lot of people who wanted grad add on. So I did do a grad add on. Um, you could use it for a birthday, a baby shower, an anniversary, a bridal shower, um, anything, or just like a brunch, <laughs> but I'm using it for the week of mother's day, which also happens to be Jessica J crew plans birthday week. And actually, yeah. Um, so I would usually use like some kind of like mermaid kit or something like Jessica vibes. I love this bottom washi, but it's Mother's Day week. So I figured I would use this. And also because like Jessica likes food, it kind of just works somehow. Um, this was the freebie. And then I brought home the add on option with like the mom and the kids and the label sampler and the 15 millimeter strip. And then I also brought home the mom boxes and then also this one here which i think i'm going to use the redhead for jessica and that just totally worked out that way like i didn't even plan it um but jessica has red hair now and she's also back to planning so she's not doing videos but um she is doing like instagram so if you aren't following her you definitely should it is j k r u u u i think underscore plans or something like that you just type in JKR, like it should come up. So that is the kit I'm using. And then I am using the Daisy foil bundle from Caress Press. Since it's kind of a more boring month as far as like my combos and stuff, I'll go ahead and open everything. So I'm going to leave this one out of the cello. I save all my cellos because sometimes I'm like need them for something. Um, so this one has the full box overlay. So there's eight of those, right? And I usually need more, so I'll show you what I'm bringing in. But if you ever need more and you only, you don't have a lot of full boxes, you can always like cut the corners off and make these into more boxes option. Or you could cut like these off and put them on a box, those off. It would still make two, but you know, whatever. Then you have your um, header overlays, which I might switch out to a confetti depending on how like busy the rest of it looks. Or maybe I'll switch out these to a bow to kind of like tone it down a little, which I'm doing with other um, foil bundles as well fancy headers and then you have this page here which is in all of them with your um icon scripts date numbers and hole reinforcers so that is the foil bundle i'm using i'll also be using silver i should have pulled out some kind of cute uh, i feel like the thing with this is, is that these are so busy that like an underlay would maybe be kind of a lot so i'm probably going to need like four of those um just regular silver bougie boxes because of how busy this is um, and I might switch out, like I said, the, but these to a bow and then these to confetti, depending on my mood. Um, but I'll probably bring in like some kind of bow. 
I think so. so we'll see. We'll see. Then I also have these um, boxes, which will bring in more. So you have the tall box for the tall box and then this for the wide box. Um, I also like the look of layering these, like doing the stroke and then layering this on top. Honestly, I'm going to probably go out on a limb also. This is kind of like a little bit of a pool for me too. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I'm probably going to do a bow. And I think I'm going to use the Sadie Stickers bow with this. I think that's just going to be a vibe. So I'm going to use a bow and then probably some headers, which I'm actually like, this is all I have of those, just kind of wild. I think that's all I'm going to pull in, but I think that's going to separate it out enough for me to probably still use the headers that come with the kit. Um, and then I'll just save the daisies and use them with another like springtime spread. And then I also have the two Mother's Day quotes, or maybe this is Mom and Mother's Day. I'm not sure I have the name in the shop, but if you type in mom and foil, it'll probably come up. So this is happy Mother's Day, all I am, I owe to my mother, I love you mom, and mother is a verb, not a noun. I'm not a regular, I'm not like a regular mom, I'm a cool mom because I said so, I love that one, and tired as a mother, and my favorite people call me mom, which I love that one. I'm actually probably going to use the favorite people call me mom because it's super cute, but that is everything for the first week which like i said is mother's day and also my friend's birthday then um my friend brie is coming to visit me it's like a birthday present my birthday is a couple of weeks prior um but she's coming i like one of these like last days of this week and then this week we are going to i think it's the dallas zoo the Houston Zoo. I think the Dallas Zoo, whichever one everyone said was better. Um, but I was going to use this in the summer, but I was like, oh man, I wish I had a zoo kit. And I'm like, I have a wild thornberries kit, which can you get more like zoo vibes than this? That's not a zoo kit. I don't know. So I did decide to go with this, which this is exclusive art. Actually, these these ones are all exclusive art. So the brunch one, this one, and then the next one. So, um, I wanted to do a wild thornberries kit. I just love wild thornberries. I don't even know what came upon me and I was like, wild thornberries, what we're doing. Um, but I have a lot of kids that you're going to be like, I don't, Andrea, well, this came very left field, but they're amazing. So I have no regrets. So this is the full boxes. They're gorgeous. I love the colors of this. It's so August vibes to me, but I'm going to the zoo. So I need it. I need to use it now. These colors are beautiful, honestly. So, 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 so pretty. I love the patterns. I love the bottom washi. And I have the freebie, the 15 millimeter, and the label sampler. Um, but for foil, I decided, which you can really see the different variants of gold here. There's like a like a mid-hot, a light, a greenish yellow gold it's gonna be a vibe so I kind of went crazy with this one so I'll kind of go where I started so where I started was this bundle from caress press accidentally ordered it in a large let me actually put this kit back even though I don't you normally put the kits back but today's the day we're gonna do it actually no should I I don't know maybe no I'm gonna leave it save that cello so I got this this foil bundle and I was like okay this is perfect this is the caress well actually yeah, did I? I don't know. I think maybe Kirsten showed this and was like, it'll look perfect with the kit coming up and I knew what she was talking about. So this is like a cheetah foil bundle. It's a lot, but we're going to tone it down. You have the full boxes. You have the headers, which I'll probably keep. I don't know. I don't know what the plan is here, but we're going to find something. You have the headers, 15 millimeter overlay deco, the icon script page, and then the bougie box. Cause like I said, I accidentally ordered the big one, um, which I'll actually just put these with my stash of bougie boxes. So this is where we're starting, right? And then I was like, all right, I need plan of Hannah underlays. And I think I ordered the Cheeto ones and I was like, girlfriend, that's going to be crazy. So I went back and ordered Doc and John. I don't know where the like names are from. It's got to be some kind of like zoo thing that I'm not remembering but uh this is giraffe and then zebra because I thought that that would be kind of a vibe right different animal prints if we're doing zoo themed and these were cool because like I feel like you can see them really nice through like boxes and stuff I love the um giraffe one especially <sighs> if I ever did like an animal kingdom set that'd be really cool 
I don't have one planned, but you know, it's probably on my agenda for like life. Then I picked up while I was there the Eliza overlays because I told her I was coming out with a Wild Thornberries kit, so I needed them. Super cute, right? And then I was going through my quote overlays, and these are from my shop. And I thought that this one, this one's Lilo and Stitch, obviously. So it's Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. And I think that kind of works, especially with the little leaves, family, breeze here. It's a vibe. And then I also have the Sadie Stickers bow stuff because I figured that that could tone things down. I honestly might go super minimal with my like overlays and just let the underlays shine and then like do foil icons and stuff. I don't know because I love these boxes and I honestly don't want to cover anything. So maybe I'll like separate some of these and just put them on some corners and then do like some bows. Like I know I want to do the bow bottom washi. I don't know, but I just wanted options and I just pulled in a bunch of stuff. So I have them. So I don't always use everything I pull out, but if I have an idea, I like to put it in there. Like the baby shark one that has like this thick of foil. And then whenever the week comes, I'll just see what my like, my thoughts are for the situation. Also, while I'm in here and I'm doing that, I'm just going to take this out of the cello because I can't have one in the cello. Are these in the cello? Nope. I don't know. But also, if you're wondering what this is, this is the Print Prussian Planner Keeper. They're, I think, still available on Kane's shop. And they're super fun for organizing planner supplies. So, brunch, Eliza. And then this kit here is always, and this is the week that Hannah of Planet Hannah is getting married. I am not able to go. Okay, so it's like wording, but I just feel like I have like a little teeny tiny baby and I just don't feel like leaving her yet like the rest of the kids like Theo I basically never left because it was 2020 um but Bennett I didn't leave till he was like one so I just I don't know it just is too soon for me but I wanted to use a kit to commemorate her this is exclusive art I had her send me like pictures that were the vibe of her wedding some of her wedding items and like different scenes for where she's actually getting married and I think it turned out really cute. So I wanted to use it for this week, even though I'm not going because it's beautiful and it'll be my planner and adorable. So this is the always set, like I said, so pretty. It's a very glam wedding. So you have your full boxes here and I just am obsessed with these colors. Like I said in the release video, I think it reminds me a lot of the TWG exclusive art that I had that was like the plant, not the planner, the, like the girly birthday one like very similar color vibes, but I'm obsessed. Um, that is the kit. And this is the newer format, which will be really fun. This will actually be the first new format kit I use in my planner too, which is very exciting. I have the freebie that came with it. I have the doodles. This is so weird. Like it's the new format. And then I have the um, fashion. Um, I mostly just wanted this box here because I think I'm still going to use the fashion box that's in the kit. I just love her. Um, and then use the hand holding the sparkler because I think that that's cute. And maybe put like a quote over that. But honestly, I could also put a quote over um, this box too. And then I have this like custom Hannah box. So I'm probably going to use the tall Hannah because like why not? Um, so I have that, right? And then I pulled in some things. So I first pulled in the, these underlays because I have these in my stash. I have like, I usually buy like, you should see my plan Hannah cart right now. Today is the 30th. So she's coming out with releases. I'm thinking on the first and my plan Hannah cart is humongo already. So I normally buy for like kits that I know I'm using or like are coming out, but I also have like a stash of stuff that I like, I'm like, all right, if I need to pull something in, I can. So I thought that these flowers really matched the like flower vibes of the cake. So I was like, this is kind of perfect. So I pulled these in and then I'm just going to pair it with bougie boxes. So I just put those in there as like a placeholder. I was like, all right, now we need overlays and I was like I want something simple because I feel like again I want the boxes to shine on this one and I was gonna use rose gold for all this but then I had these and I was like it's kind of a gold vibe um so I picked up this one which is glimmer which I hauled in my last haul that just went up um and I thought that this was pretty and very simple but I think it'll just accentuate what I want it to 
Um, this is from Crest Press, any regular gold, a ton of any mini deco, which I'm going to sprinkle everywhere. I'm going to use all of the deco. The uh, 15 millimeter overlays, the header overlays, and the fancy header overlays. I'm going to literally use all of this and then the page. Then I was like, all right, well, we have the Hannah tall box. So I pulled out these tall boxes and I feel like the vibe is kind of like I could use either confetti because there's teeny tiny like dots in here or I can use the sparkle because you have like the kind of similar vibe shape. So I pulled those out and then I also pulled out this one because I thought the some people are worth melting for would be cute. I had, I was looking at a lot of lovey quotes, but I just wasn't feeling the vibe for this, but I think the some people are worth melting for it would be really, really cute. So, but also I have, um, I'm going to be ordering the emo quotes from Hannah and emo sheet two, I think it is, is all of the quotes that I requested and they're all love quotes because that's the kind of emo I was in high school. So I might actually use one of those. So I haven't decided yet because the, that sheet, if you like, like love quotes and like that was your vibe in like 2008, like get that sheet because I think I might use one in that spread because I think that'd be adorable. Then last but not least, kind of boring, <laughs> I think, because I already showed you this. This was in May, but I don't remember why I got bumped out. I don't remember. I think I wanted to use a kit for Denver's birthday, and I ended up reformatting Sprinkle, and I think it turned out really cute, so I wanted to use that. So I was like, all right, I can move this one, because I feel like Love Potion was like originally released by Jess for Valentine's, but I think that it could kind of go for like any time in my opinion, especially like spring, summer and like a fall transition. I love this kit so much and I love the reformat. I just think it turned out beautiful. I love like a mono monochromatic look and this would be a really pretty one to maybe color block with. Oh, it's just so, so, so pretty. And then I also do have the freebie. I have the 15 millimeter strip. I have the fashion add-ons though. Honestly, I might just use the ones that come in the kit. I don't like really need like the specific hair color to match me it doesn't matter to me I kind of like the vibes of having different hair colors especially this one the red like you gotta do it and then the label sampler also none of my fashion people probably ever have split hair and I'm probably gonna keep split hair for a long time um but yeah so cute I love the like white and pinks so there's that I think while I'm waking up possibly and then I also have I don't know if I showed this or not maybe I don't know I feel like maybe I did this is the champagne lights celestial foil bundle I'm trying to remember like when I did my kit lineup did I show everything I don't even know I think I might have changed my mind on something from memory um but I have this and I just have like a bunch of pages because that's the way my like champagne lights album is set up do I have bougie boxes I know I don't even have any in shop yet I have two pages which is fine and then I also have the um matte label sampler foil and then some mini icons but I feel like with champagne lights you could totally get away with sample blending from your collection like your gold because I feel like with the variants in the champagne lights there's a lot of different gold colors so it's really cool so that's everything I honestly wish I had the whole year done because I'm like just in the mood to chit chat about kits but I feel like I keep hearing something I think it's just the rain but yeah that's everything for this kit lineup for may which is crazy i kane asked me to do something and he was like it's releasing may first and i was like oh i got time and i was like no i really don't because it's like in four weeks which is just weird so yeah that's everything for this kit lineup again we have brunch and silver we have eliza and gold we have always in gold and then we also have love potion and champagne lights and that my friends is everything and i will talk to y'all in my next video bye